What's going on people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another review. Welcome back to another L from my embarrassing football club. And this time, this time, it's the West London derby that we decided not to turn up for. Fulham, Fulham away. These lot couldn't even turn up for Fulham away. We're going to delve into all of it. As always, like, subscribe, all of that crap. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know your opinions. Corn me if you want to corn me. I honestly don't give a shit at this point. Let me know you guys' thoughts, like and subscribe and all of that. My team has embarrassed me for yet another night, yet another weekend, yet another week. And it's only been 12 days into the new year. 12 fucking days. We have had four games. We have not won a single one of them. Why should I even be surprised? But then again, you'll have the same old idiots telling me that we need to back these players. And these players are going to be the ones that will take us out of this crap. And it's all Potter's fault. It's not Potter's fault. It is the player's fault. The lack of application that I see on these from these players week in and week out is pathetic. Every single game, it's like these men have met each other yesterday. They decided to pick an 11 and then they went out for 90 minutes and thought, fuck it, let's see what happens. That's exactly what it looked like. We are the least cohesive side in the top 10. We don't even deserve to be in the top 10. I have told you, man, fucking um, 40 points and then sign out for the rest of the season. I don't know where we get these 15 points from. We are a joke. Top to bottom, we are a fucking joke. And Fulham deserved the win. Fulham were better than us from the start. But it's constantly us making our own issues. Just aimless passing or appalling passes that don't do anything to build up play. Backwards, sideways passes. And by the way, Jorginho wasn't in the squad. Jorginho wasn't in the squad, by the way. So we're not even going to have that excuse. It's the same old people. Mount, Havertz, fucking... Um, Kovacic, Zakaria was poor, Aspi was poor, Chalaba was poor as well. Um, Kepa, what the fuck was that for the second goal? It's the same issue as the Man City game as well. You don't commit. You just either jump in and then second guess yourself and go back and you have fucked yourself and it's an empty net. The first goal as well, Chalaba, I don't know what the fuck he was doing for that one. I saw Ferrari running past decent. Send me, Jeff, get me in that. God, I need some sort of joy to the end of this night. But yeah, Chalaba, I don't know what the fuck he was doing for the first goal. I don't know what the fuck Kepa was doing for the second goal. And our only goal just came from a goal mouth scramble that somehow found Koulibaly's leg. And Koulibaly wasn't even playing well, so I can't even praise him too much on that. Our only positives was Jao Felix and Thiago Silva. And Jao Felix got sent off in 60 minutes. And he's out for 30 days. <laughs> Our only competent attacker. And he is out for 30 days. We are an absolute shambolic mess from top to bottom. And we're going to go straight into the same old shit for the Palace game. And we're probably going to lose that. Deep this, if the results stay this way, we might be in a relegation dogfight. We might seriously be in a relegation dogfight. Because we're only going to keep dropping down the table. We keep giving other clubs beneath us the opportunity to go above us because we don't do anything for 90 minutes on a football pitch. We're only going to make those issues for ourselves. And it's the same thing week in and week out and week in and week out. It's predictable as fuck. Now, Graham Potter, I'll speak on him because I'm not on this Potter out bollocks. I'm not on this Potter out bandwagon or anything like that, but I do think you can criticise him for the decisions that he makes in-game. Starting Mount, starting Havertz yet again, shoehorning them into lineups when they play like crap for 90 minutes, week in and week out, doesn't make any sense to me. Making the same substitutions that don't really impact us in any way, shape or form, doesn't do anything for you. Bringing on Cucurella for Hall, what's a wingback for a wingback going to do? Bringing on Mount for Gallagher, like Roadrunner for Roadrunner, isn't going to do anything. How is that meant to impact us? How is that meant to have any sort of positive effect on the game when we're not changing our outlook, when we're not changing our stance? We're just making the same thing and just changing the personnel. That's not working. The problem is these players are just aimless. All we're good at is retaining possession. We're not good at doing anything with it. Kai Havertz, yet again, had a dead performance, the most timid number nine I've ever seen in my life. 
Mason Mount continuously overplays the ball and ignores runners around him and slows down possession, slows down progression of the ball, and it happens week in and week out. Kovacic, aimless passing. It's getting to the point where all you're good at is taking the ball out of pressure and that's it. You're not doing anything else. Zakaria, sloppy with the passes. Asby, cooked on the right-hand side by Willian. And by the way, fucking Willian! You let Willian bag a goal against us and we all knew it was going to happen. We all fucking knew this guy was going to score. And you let him run rings around us for 90 minutes. Willian, by the way, this is a guy that we have slandered for like four, five years in a row. And it's got to the point where our team has declined so bad, Willian would start for us. Willian makes more big chances per game than any of our attackers. So you can't even gun for him too much. We have just declined. We are the problem. So you can't even get at him. The problem is Chelsea, week in and week out, is Chelsea Football Club letting ourselves down. This ain't Chelsea Football Club anymore. This is Fulham Broadway FC. Until we deserve the right to have Chelsea Football Club back on our crest, we ain't Chelsea Football Club anymore, and I refuse to call us that because this isn't the Chelsea that I grew up and supported. And it's not because of Bowley, it's not because of Potter. You can put the blame on the new regime all that you want. It's the old regime that left us with this squad. It's the old regime that refused to sign a midfielder. It's Tuchel that refused to sign a midfielder. All of them are to blame. So you can blame whatever that you want. And you know what? He deserves it. You can try him out for the more that he wants. We're dead. We're dead. We deserve all the corn, all the slander that we get. Sorry about the sound. I'm outside. It is what it is. But we're shit. And we constantly invite pressure and our own problems into ourselves. Week in and week out, it is the same old crap and it's not going to change. We're going to have Palace at home and we're going to allow ourselves get embarrassed by them. We're going to go away to the worst Liverpool side I've seen in the last decade and we're probably going to lose that. Dortmund away to me, it's all about the experience. It's all about seeing the signal at Duna Park in all its glory and that's it. It's not about anything in terms of performance for me because we're not a good football club. We're not a good team. We're a team that embarrasses itself Minute in, minute out, from start to finish. The only good players, Thiago Silva, um, not Cucurelli, was abysmal. Um, not even who, Jao Felix. And Jao Felix had the typical game of any Chelsea attacker, where you just part, you start well, you peter out, and then you go back to being shit straight afterwards. It's the same old shit from us. Week in and week out, we get embarrassed everywhere we go. We get battered everywhere we go. And things aren't going to improve. Aren't going to improve. Big up everybody that's locked in. Like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Um, all of that bollocks. Super thanks if you want to. It'd be the only positive to tonight. And yeah, up the Chelsea. We stink.